On your mark, get set, go. I'm Chris Anderson. Um, by day, I run a robotics company, 3DR, but for fun, I run a uh, Thomas Car Racing League um, called DIY Robocars. And we are at a hacking space, a co-working space called Circuit Launch in Oakland, California, where we're having one of our quarterly race hack days. What I love about it is that it is kids. It is Silicon Valley engineers. It is retirees, it's people who aren't engineers at all. So this event is uh, an opportunity for our community to show their stuff. And these are small size and autonomous cars using a various different techniques. And the history of car innovation has always been through racing. But by shrinking the cars down to a really small scale where they're cheap, easy, and harmless, we can do the kind of racing that could potentially lead to new approaches to AI. So we're, we're running a end-to-end -end convolution net. Uh, the only exception is we multiply the speed by 1.2 just because that sounds cool. And at the beginning, we hit the gas really hard. For these courses where you're trying to collect data, typically what we do with these guys is pretty much driving around the course, collecting images and throttle and steering information. It's doing that 20 times per second as the car is traveling down the track. So with the extra power that the Jetson provides, you can actually bump that up, up to about 60 frames per second capturing that data. And that information is very crucial when you're making these tight turns on this track. So when you want to build a stock car, you get two choices. You can use the Jetson Nano or you can use a Raspberry Pi. Uh, the big advantage of the Jetson Nano is that it's a lot faster. It's very small, it's affordable, it's easy to work with, and it has a lot of power for a price. And it lets students and makers and hackers do kind of whatever they want and not be limited in terms of power. That's why a lot of the competitors here will be running Jetson Nanos and the equivalent of So the races start with time trials. So the car goes by itself and tries to get the best time. Then once you get the, the um, the fastest times in every heat, then you race them wheel to wheel, so two cars on the track at the same time, and at the end, we get all the cars on the track at the same time for what is more of a demolition derby than a race. We're living in a very interesting time because of how technology has advanced. Even a few years ago, some of the things that are happening right now on um, small-scale GPUs like this were just impossible with CPUs. Um, now that we've got the technologies and we're kind of pushing the forefront of AI, here AI has enabled a relatively cheap RC car that just is off the shelf to behave like an autonomous vehicle. So I'm excited for the future of what will come from these things. And Jet Racer is the winner!